Welcome to Power BI Solution Overview by DDK. During this presentation, you will see our BI solution dedicated to industry. We will focus on monitoring KPI related to effectiveness, productivity, and malfunction. First up, present the analysis of the total productive maintenance indicators. By efficiency, we define the maximum use of production machines to produce high quality products. The indicator is OEE, which is overall equipment effectiveness, which is the result of ability, performance, and quality. OEE is a measure of how well a manufacturing operation is utilized compared to its full potential during the periods when it's scheduled to run. It identifies the percentage of manufacturing time is truly productive. So, an OE of 100% means that only good parts are produced as maximum speed and without any interruption. By using these slicers, we can choose factory name, specific production line, or KPI. The waterfall charts shows us increase or decrease selected KPI by year to year. On the second tab, each of indicators can be analyzed for a particular day. Moreover, we can go through the natural hierarchy of time, which is month, quarter, or year. By default, is current month uh, selected. On the third tab, it presents us detailed analysis of productivity. We can analyze key indicators, which are first time through, which is KPI, that measure of production efficiency, ability, and quality. Its percentage that places the number of units without defects or rework against the total units produced in the production process or value stream. Defect tracking is also an important KPI in the production environment. This indicates the number of defects during the production process final inspection or quality audit phase. Tracking defects is valuable because it allows manufacturers to recognize trends related to the quality of product and operation of equipment. Defects per thousand units is a particular way to communicate the quality of products produced or served with some defects. Most manufacturers have the target threshold they strive to stay below. These two charts located in the center are used to visualize most recent parts production target and actual, which we can analyze to the resolution of the day. And again, we can go through the natural hierarchy of time. The second chart presents defects per thousand uh, units by factoring N and production line. Next up presents the analysis of production machines malfunction. The first chart shows us the products of are the most often affected by defects. Below. We can observe the quantity of malfunction by individual factory. In this case, we can identify six categories of malfunction, which are breakdowns, losses due to lack of equipment preparation, settings of the toolings, low speed, inactivity of machines, and moreover. Knowing this information enables manufacturers 
to improve process, increase profitability, and calculate overall equipment effectiveness. The, this slide chart shows us the length, length of downtime in minutes each day by selected, selecting given value. Also, we can observe in the tooltip defects by product's name. The waterfall charts shows us increase or decrease of uh, breakdowns, breakdowns quantity. Our solution introduces also an element of modern approach to analysis which is defi defining a question by using your natural language. Let's give it a try and try to Let's check. So we can observe average of breakdowns in minutes. In specific factor name. In specific month. And specific chart. Thank you for watching this Power BI solution overview by TDK.